okay students so this is the next model of heart in this mainly you are going to see about the development of interatrial septum so already you know that the upper chambers are your atrial chambers so this is the right atrium this is the left atrium like that this is right ventricle this is your left ventricle uh, so here we are having formation of interatrial septum so the septum what is formed first is the septum primum so this is the septum primum so this is also septum primum okay so the septum primum starts from the roof of the common atrial chamber before the formation of atrial septum we used to tell this is your common atrial chamber this is the roof so the septum primum starts from the roof of the common atrial chamber from there it descends downwards okay when it descends downwards before joining with this actually this is your atria this is your ventricle so this communication is called as atrio ventricular canal communication between atrium and ventricle the septum what is formed in the atrio ventricular canal divides the atrio ventricular canal into right half and left half the septum what is formed in the atrio ventricular canal is called as atrio ventricular cushion or otherwise it is called as septum intermedium so this is septum intermedium or atrio ventricular cushion okay now this septum primum descends downwards towards the your septum intermedium so when it descends downwards first you will be having opening here that is called as ostium primum through that the blood, blood from the right atrium will go to the left atrium so now in this model already it has been fused okay so what is fused with septum intermedium is septum primum so this is the later stage okay when it is fused the communication between right atrium and left atrium should be maintained for that we are having formation of fever ostium secundum so this opening is ostium secundum it is formed by the degeneration of your cranial part of septum primum that's why we are getting our ostium secundum here okay so now blood from the right atrium will go to the left atrium through this your ostium secundum so before the fusion of your septum primum with septum intermedium you will be having communication here so that communication is the first one to be formed that's why that is called as ostium primum when this septum primum fuses with septum intermedium the this opening is formed so this is the second one to be formed that's why this is called as your ostium secundum so this is the your cranial most part of your septum primum so now what happens the another septum is formed right to this septum primum so that septum is called as septum secundum so this is your septum secundum so this septum secundum now descends downwards that only closes your ostium secundum so this descends downwards then it overlaps your septum primum to form our interatrial septum so interatrial septum is formed by septum primum first next your septum secundum so this septum secundum overlaps this septum primum to form our interatrial septum so now what you have on the right side is the right atrium what you have on the left side is the left atrium so now this is septum primum this is septum secundum now this is septum intermedium or av cushion that is the septum formed in the atrio ventricular canal so in this specimen you can make out this septum secundum is larger it is descending down it will come up to this level you will be having overlapping so till the birth the blood will pass through this so this is the foramen ovale later on after birth you will be having fusion of these two 
so that is the formation of our interatrial septum if there is any defect in the formation of your septum second term that leads to ostium second term type of atrial septal defect so like that if there is any defect in the fusion of your septum primum with septum intermedium that leads to ostium primum type of your atrial septal defect sometimes this will be patent the failure of fusion of these two that is called as patent foramen ovale okay so that is your development of interatrial septum of course we go down so this is the part of interventricular septum or it is called as muscular part of interventricular septum this septum arises from the floor of the common ventricular chamber it ascends upwards but this will not directly fuse with this septum intermedium so this opening is called as interventricular foramen so this is closed by the proliferation of the septum primum at the same time in the right ventricle you will be having your origin of your pulmonary trunk so the septum separating it is called as bulbar septum so that will descend downwards to close this opening so that part of ventricular septum is called as membranous septum of course that is not much important for you so this you should be thorough okay thank you